Some American congressmen, senators, biggest media, and uh, some influencers in USA uh, united, actually, to defeat the biggest threat on this planet. And it's not China, not Iran, not wokeness even, but tiny, <laughs> tiny Ukrainian online media, which does data journalism and has like 500,000 um, visitors monthly. Um, yep, yeah, you heard it right. Uh, so JD Vance, Matt Gates, uh, Elon Musk, Fox News, uh, Breitbart, uh, you name it. Uh, they decided that they went to war with, uh, against this Ukrainian tiny media. And, uh, the reason is really weird. Yeah. So when you say tiny again, they're bigger than us, Mark. That's the yeah, most important. Yeah. Yeah. That's a problem. And that's why you should subscribe to our channel, like us, yes. uh, comment this video so we could be bigger than this media. And maybe we'll, we'll go to the war as well <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> yeah, Unwin so before un unwillingly. We yeah, before we start discussing this topic that largely concerns U.S. funded and U.S. aid, financial aid to Ukrainian media, we have to put a little disclaimer here. This channel also partially is supported by uh, a great partners of Ukraine in the West. We are want to be very transparent about it. We are in a way biased. But yeah, so the main kind of enemy of the people mark has listed has been this fairly fairly small ukrainian data journalism driven media that have done virtually nothing but systematize something that was already common knowledge so the people mark has listed and many more included in the uh kind of this publication made by the media called text the orgue which we're going to put in the link under this video is basically just this like list and explanation of different entities legal and public media personalities and politicians who have been very vocal in their op opposing uh, USA to Ukraine. So nothing, this wasn't even an investigation. Like nothing new was uncovered in this, in this long report. It just, you know, kind of, if you even look at it this way, it helped these people find, you know, their colleagues, their allies, you know, in, in, in opposing Ukraine aid. I really don't see what the problem is. It's all open source, nothing hidden. These organizations are very vocal about it. Like, I thought the point was to kind of make it as loud as possible so people know your opinion on things. Isn't that the point of social media? I don't know. Yeah, so the, the, the weirdest, yeah, the weirdest part about it, it's, it doesn't have any opinion, uh, although it's obviously Ukrainian and states that those people oppose Ukrainian, Ukrainian aid, which will lead to, Maybe perhaps uh, genocide uh, of these people as well. Um, so, no, but Marka, like, but they, isn't but they avoid... a Ukrainian media supposed to talk about things that concern Ukraine? Yeah, probably. Which the 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 direct thing, which um, so the the link between U United States aid and the lives of the Ukrainian people and the orders of this text are dependent so closely <laughs> so you cannot just this is the direct link so this is this is what ukrainian lives and the existence of this country depends on and these people are writing a work about it and they avoid the language they avoid any opinion any language which could be considered i don't know harmful or threatening or anything else uh, to, to such extent, Even like which in, I admire it. Yeah. I, I cannot, it, I cannot do yeah, that. Not, we, we call people out all the time using swear words and we give our opinion here. We're not, a, we're not journalists. That's just something, you know, maybe that's the problem. That's why nobody pays attention to us. But like, we're actually kind of jealous, me and Mark, you know, like that, you know, text with this long read full of a difficult, you know, words and balanced opinions with like virtually no, even opinion, just like facts. Yeah. Uh, they get so much hate and we here professionally offending russian apologists here nobody pays attention to us so, <laughs> not a single senator has complained about us i'm just so jealous yeah and 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 and, in, and text the org yeah so the again the, this report is uh so they just followed the so they just uh, listed all the people 
all the organizations in the United States, all, all the congressmen, influencers, journalists who vocally oppose Ukraine aid and often repeat Russian narratives or Russian propaganda word by word sometimes, um, react to that, support that, support financially these organizations. There's nothing, uh, like there's nothing else there. It's just, it's just the list of people and how are they connected? Be uh, and yeah. And there are these nice graphs there. It's pretty, it, it gives like whatever these people like Jordan Peterson or Trump or Matt, G I mean, whatever, whenever they put something out, these guys literally take it and quote it. There's nothing there that could be like, even remotely considered like what could they call it like a hit list which is which is hilarious so after this thing it thing this ca thing came out like uh some time ago it's like not fresh like it, it's new but it's not like today like yeah, and then what ago. yeah yeah and then what happened is jim banks has actually tweeted that house republicans have just moved to defund the ukrainian ngo that created a watch list that consisted of conservative lawmakers and private american citizens america first and then our dear guy, his majesty, the awkward person who, by the way, has been messaging people inappropriately. We're going to talk about this another time. Elon Musk wrote a reply to that tweet saying, it's a good first step. They should be added to the list of sanctioned terrorist organizations. Holy so, shit. So this media that wrote a text quoting people, just literally quoting them and put these like, pretty little for some reason now is suggested that they are should be recognized as a terrorist organization like al-qaeda or i don't know and, and apparently the judge who is a terrorist and who is not is a um free speech absolutist and free speech yes. champion uh elon musk uh, so don't forget that during yeah. this whole episode so, and <laughs> it has forced the editors of this website bef put a disclaimer before the text now that says this is a statement of fact neither a list of enemies nor a kill list and i'm just wondering how the hell does a media article become labeled a kill list what do you mean a kill list like does it say that these people should be murdered no uh, what do you mean a kill list? Do, you don't make public kill lists if you're, what the hell? They, they, they are so obsessed about being a victim that even like, even just a list, even just a list stating that, just quoting them on what they said and just listing people who said the same thing. That's it. That's it. That's whole list should be a kill list because how, how cannot they be a victim? It's, it's their right to be a victim, right? Um, and it's a scandal. <laughs> huge scandal um i want to quote like by the way if we're speaking about this i want to quote a, an x account uh called in the political divide has a blue check mark has 168 followers uh like you know does a lot of retweets of gop and and stuff like that uh he actually tweeted saying uh, at Kremlin Russia, at Kremlin Russia E, if something were to happen to the founder and all members of Texte, the media, is it a crime when it happens in a war zone? So, so apparent, like, so these people know, you would how, say that, yeah, how, how, how the threat, how the real death threat looks like, right? So they, they, we are pretty Literally. sure it, it, it is hard for them to mix things up. Literally. So it, it seems like the quote unquote kill list organization is now on some sort of kill list by no names of, on Twitter. And that is not for some reason a problem to anyone. This is, this is such a topsy turvy world. I cannot even comprehend. And I mean, how does it even, is there, I don't do the, are these people familiar with like a concept of list? You know how they're like these videos are like top 10 most popular YouTubers, top 10 most famous vegetarians. And, and, and they're top like, how 10. dare you? <laughs> yeah, it's a kill list. <laughs> it's a kill list. Jesus. I mean, so like Tim Pool, an NGO in Ukraine, which, which has worked with USAID, included my name on a list with many others accused of impending aid to Ukraine. This is, we, we, what do you mean? What do you mean accused if you 
like literally did that publicly. Yeah, like by the way, what do you mean accused? Like, Mark, Mark, you're accused of of uh, doing uh, this show being right now. a of, host, of, yes, of, of this of, show of uh, of. Uh, <laughs> Ah, uh, fuck. I'm, I'm accused of Having asking you to like hair. this video. <laughs> <laughs> I accuse, j'accuse, Mark. J'accuse. I accuse you of having beautiful hair. Um, I, and, and you're supposed to be like on Twitter, oh my God, like Melania just accused me of uh, having beautiful hair. Uh, I just received this letter from this uh, MP. By the way, also very funny is like, so somebody looked through the people who are on this list and then this guy informed people on the list that he's on the list. But wh- how is this, like, why yeah. would you? It's a list. He, so so yeah, another uh, another guy from the list, Charlie Kirk, um, he's famous. I, I don't know. First time. Uh, <laughs> no, so he's, he's announcing news that Republicans of House of Operations Committee have just moved to defund the Ukrainian NGO text. Um, for uh for this kill list watch list whatever you call it uh next step defund the entire ukraine war so he's like they create they dare to create a list of people who call to defund uh ukraine and uh what i think about it yeah that's that's horrible how can how dare they defund ukraine When we actually talk about this, um, something that is to be said here is that all jokes aside, and it's, it's, it's a hilarious, albeit very, uh, sad situation. We even have to talk about this, but isn't that called pressuring free journalism, you know, by the state actors, isn't this the very isn't that kind of illegal like can't you, you can't do that can you it like, absolutely uh, is, no man. matter who funds anything yeah, yeah you yeah, cannot that's... use your power to defund and and kind of it's a media no i mean, I mean you might not like it no i mean again if uh, right if you say it's sponsored uh, not sponsored not sponsored um that those are grants if you you say us aid gave someone money and that, that people broke the law, right? Uh, for instance, calling, calling for someone's death or doing something really illegal, uh, whatever. That would be legit thing, right? To call for. But is, if the media just states the facts, which are then confirmed even during the <laughs> smear campaign against this media, they're like, how dare they? We, we, we actually do that. How dare they report on what we actually said? Yeah. How dare they? This me, this, this goddamn media. So again, it doesn't have anything to do with the uh, text to work. Uh, it does have to do with USAID and State Department. It is an attack against aiding, um, for, uh, aiding, uh, different programs, not only media, but different NGOs by the United States abroad, uh, where those NGOs actually help to fight Russian propaganda or Chinese or, um, to help to fight for human rights in different countries and, uh, help to spread positive American influence. Um, literally, literally saving the interests of American people abroad, which is the concept of American foreign policy. Before we proceed, I would just like to note something else. For some reason, JD Vance, Matt Gates, uh, have sent this letter and they kind of stressed the fact that it was conservatives who were on that. I mean, and I love, I love how the other media are like, procreating that concept and using the word enemy list, but let's skip that. So they're like conservative American citizens and politicians are being attacked by this kill list, maybe this Ukrainian NGO that we didn't know about until today. But I'm about to tell you that it's not just conservatives there. It it's not, the title. it's a lie. It's in the law, in the title. You're correct. It, they have both conservatives and progressives and Democrats. There's like literally everybody there. I mean, I guess conservatives got offended that they're in the same list of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, for instance. I don't know. 
But the point is, it's not, it's not partisan. It is completely objective, includes every single person. For instance, the infamous coalition Code Pink that is posing at this anti-war pro-peace uh, organization. You know, well, they, they also, like to... Which also supports Assad and uh, uh, all the <laughs> all the actually bloody dict- dictators who's... Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, so they're not, they're not, they don't pose themselves as like the far right organization. They have this like Ukraine peace talks now, you know, all of that. And, and they're in the same list. Like they're not, they're not, not conservatives. They're leftists. So it's not a, a witch hunt in any way, shape or form. It's literally everyone. You guys should have a party together. Like this is a literally an, party invitation list you can just you know come together and have drinks because this is literally nothing this is just so this is just so weird it's not it's not about like i mean i'm not surprised about random attacks i'm not surprised about the organized like how organized it is and how delusional it is and how actually they contradict in 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 the same sentence uh, to one another whatever what i'm surprised about like what (laughs) What's the point? Why are you so outraged? Well, what's the outrage about? Um, people stating the obvious. It's not like people stating the obvious. How, I, I, like, what's the reason of the outrage? Is there, should be, sh- should there be a reason for your outrage? I, I, is it how it works? Is it just like random stuff or is it organized? Is there a reason why you got, I mean, the, like some, some, text of some some website posts um an article stating that that's what you are stating and that's what you are stating on your twitter account or whatever and then you're getting like there's such a reaction like the the text or i don't know hit some nerve or, or whatever what's it's i I, even, I don't have there's no conspiracy i don't have any answers for that it's there, just it's I, not i'm a just list. surprised it's not a hit list. It's something that is very important. Like two points that are like for, for, for the people of the sorts we're talking about. Two very important points. Number one, this isn't a hit list. It's just a journalist material. You write stuff and then journalists quote you and that's it. This is not a hit list. There's no such yeah. thing as a hit list. Because public hit list. It's stupid. Nobody does yeah. a public hit list. Also, <laughs> Ukrainians don't like there's, there's no, there's there isn't any track of Ukrainian government or whoever Ukrainians killing anybody on the western soil. Let's call it like that. Ukrainians, Ukrainian, yes, Ukrainians, Ukrainians kill Russians, f- Russian who fully who, committed yeah. to murdering Russians in, on in Russian big territory. quantities on Russian territories. They're not yes, even like we're not, not. Yeah, yeah, not even on on the territories of know. European Union or United States. Yeah, absolutely. You would know. You guys literally vote. You know, for aid packages, military aid packages. There isn't a single provision for murder. I mean, we don't have the money for it. Don't even think about it. Like it's stupid. Nobody would ever do this because this is not a problem. And it's not second in, of in, all. Yeah, it's 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 not in anybody's interest. Like to to like do. We don't care. Any, yeah, we don't care. Like we, me and Mark care. We care because we like to make videos about you. But nobody cares. Nobody wants to see you dead it's stupid second biggest issue and again it's something that is twisted in people's minds due to the narrative and the media attention from the conservatives actually in fox news and whatnot it's not that the state department gave a wad of cash to the editorial uh, group at text and said please write this article no people apply to grants uh, distributed by the organizations like usaid throughout the world to do investigative journalism, data journalism, uh, battling fake news, but also working in the interest of Russians, uh, of American state, namely naming people who are against a common sense security policy of the United States towards Russia, right? So this makes perfect sense as Russia is a strategic opponent of America and is an enemy to American state. It is completely reasonable for the State Department to help finance certain projects that aim at you know furthering american policy of safety and security in europe so it's not like state department has ordered texted to wrote this write this article it's stupid 
Text, they have their own editorial policy. They, as an independent media, choose what they write about. And probably some certain projects are, you, you can't even explicitly kind of try to in any way, shape, or form, say that this exact article has been financed by the American state. It's it's stupid. It's not even remotely true. And it's not the way it works. Nobody pays Ukrainian journalists to write things. This is like institutional support, all of these things. But all of these media, they retain their objectiveness and they retain their independence. So it's not a hit piece. And, and there's nothing secret there. Nobody actually gave anything secretive in that list. If you don't want to be on the list, you should ask your friend Elon Musk to ban the list option in his app so that nobody can make a list of American conservatives that are supporting Russia. Like, just no list for now. Apple, please delete your reminders thing with all apps, particularly apps, because lists are every list that exists now. Mark, do you have a grocery shopping list? Delete that shit because that is now a hit list on local bananas that i don't know have their own agenda i don't it's 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 i it, it's 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 enraging that i have to even say this medias make lists oh my god yeah and uh, at the same time those people don't say anything about uh russia actually committing uh, murders uh in the united states in, on the territory of european union in the united kingdom um doing all this stuff they they don't mind this stuff um but but somehow they invented this kill list thing they also mentioned uh the miratvorets uh website in ukrainian website which lists all the uh people who are somehow related to anti-ukrainian uh, positions etc uh, etc et so it's it, it is a website it's a private website which does not have any relation to Ukrainian government? I don't even know who who's doing the website. I, are we, do we know? Is is it even public? I, it's not like nobody knows and nobody cares about this website for ages because it also at some time, some point of time, started listing some Ukrainian journalists there. It's just it's just a shitty shitty website which just lists yeah, people. Yeah, nobody cares. Yeah, nobody cares about it. But somehow, um, those people, uh, those people in the United States Congress found out about this list. I, I mean, like, Ukrainians don't care about this list. Nobody, like, visits the site or whatever. But they somehow found out. Somebody told them about this list, in, which is in Ukrainian, and uh, they couldn't even read them, but they found about it and, uh, and started to uh, rage about it. Like, what the actual fuck is that? <laughs> I mean, how and by the way, if Matt Gates is so fucking worried about lists, I have here on Yahoo Finance a little news article that says that the Kremlin has a hit list of potential targets to seize if the West confiscates its assets to help Ukraine. I don't see Matt Gates being fucking worried about that list at all. Peskov said it himself. That's what he said. We have uh, analyzed potential response in advance and we will take action so that it best serves our interests. The Kremlin said it has a list of foreign assets that it would seize. So this is a list of foreign assets, probably American, a lot of them, probably, you know, European. But do you see a letter from Matt Gates asking people, you know, to no, do something about it? No. Again, again, I, I, I'm not... I, I don't really follow Matt Gates a lot, but I, I've seen some of it. He's not really... Uh, he doesn't have any results in Congress, uh, massive results or anything. He doesn't have le le legislation, legislations which passed or something like that. Uh, most of those people don't have this thing, but they are so obsessed about small little things like small Ukrainian website, uh, which like does nothing wrong actually. There's the they are spending so much time talking about some Ukrainian activist or some some like you know, some tiny things they they find some uh, russian propaganda infused uh things which they rage about all the time how do they have, have time for that they don't govern in their own country they are struggling with uh voting for uh, appropriations bills uh, doing stuff like that and at the same time they have so much time just doing stuff saying stuff, w repeating Russian propaganda word by word, outraging about a <laughs> website which just quotes them, quotes their Russian propaganda word by word, which they say. And it's, 
I, I mean, and then they get outraged about it. Like, it doesn't make any sense. It, it, it has only one sense in, in this thing, but I mean, it doesn't make any sense for me. And if you're an American or something like that, uh, or anybody in the world, if you look at this and say, yeah, this is completely normal. Elon Musk t- writing the, the one of the richest men in, in the world, writing a tweet about text.org, small Ukrainian website with 500,000 people visiting it monthly. You think, that we, that's normal. That's okay. That's that's something. That's not normal. No, it's not. Yeah, I hope after this video we are listed. But Elon Musk is a terrorist organization, so you know you can subscribe. Some... We make lists daily. We have top five actually. We actually <laughs> we have did made... what Texty Org did. We had we did before, and we did not uh, shy. Not from... as professionally. And not as professionally, not as objectively, and not as no. We you know, called what out them. No who standards. They are. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Look at go go watch go watch. Add us to the list, Elon Musk. I I think you should actually link put the link in your tweet to Ukrainian Trump Television and be outraged Wait, as yes. much as possible. Um, do do your thing. Go to our comments and write that we are CIA sponsored. Um, influence campaign about Donald Trump or whatever, or I don't know, yes. Hugo Chavez, if you're a leftist, whatever, I don't care. Uh... Yeah, guys, please subscribe to this channel so we can be on, we can be the enemies of, of uh, Ukraine's enemies. Uh, maybe we'll gain some popularity so we can stop being jealous of the website text. Hi, guys. Thank you for your work. And yeah, subscribe, like, uh, and we will see you next week with more crazy stuff. My brain is so fucked up because of this. I mean, even talking about this, I feel like... I... <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Thank you.